What up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be fishing at King Lake. Got my this is an Okuma Alaris 20. See that? And it's got a little trap magnet on it. The here's the leak. Oh, one just come through there. But yeah, I got Okuma Alaris 20 with a six pound braid, don't even know if you can see that. They got a six pound test leader, a bobber, about three, three and a half feet under that. We got the trout magnet, little one sixty four pound jig head. So, right. this is the, this is the cast right here. One, I did not see that one either, but it looked like he jumped to freaking the moon. I need to place my trout magnet soon. Anyway. We can fish this one a couple more times, but I think it's about good. Oh, there we go. What color should we use? Is it pink? That's what we should use. Mm, purple. I think I'm gonna slap on a purple right here. It's. I don't know if y'all do trout fishing, but if you're bass fishing and you put on like wacky worms or something like that, Texas rigs, I suck at putting those on. I'm horrible at rigging any worm, bro. Uh, horrific at it. Like, it's unbelievably how bad I am. I always, like, jack up the worms. This one I actually did decently. Oh, get out of here, Greaves. Those stupid Greaves. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Hopefully he doesn't eat it. Do you think he'll eat a trout magnet? Scaring the fishy this way, yes, good. Good boy. Cheese. Cheese. What the heck is that bird? Somebody in the comments, please tell me what that bird is if you know what it is. I don't know if you can see it, but I don't even know. I thought I got in a gargantuan and not. It's just stupid cottonwood. Stupid, stupid cottonwood. I guess I'll be back when I get all this out. Look at all the minnows that are on my beat. Don't even know if you can see them too much. I'll have to get the waterproof case. Duckies! Oh, guys, just to let you know, see those on the thing? They're babies. They don't look like babies anymore. I remember seeing them when they were tiny little itty bitty ducks. Yo, can I try catching these minnows? That'd be dope. Is it for bait? Oh, let me do that too. Still trying to get these out. I have a couple more to go and then uh, I'll be done. Got him. I got him. I got him. Uh, I didn't get a very good hook set, so I just did it again. Um, he feels kind of decent. He feels decent. Yeah, he has a decent one. Alright. Let's get my waterproof case for my camera so I can do it underwater. Release.
I got him. I got him this time. Bro. Okay, I hooked that again. My freaking reel is coming off. My reel almost just came off. My reel almost just came off. Dude, he's fighting hard. This dude's fighting hard, bro. Holy cow. It's not big, but he fought hard, bro. Alright, dude, I'll take you off in a second. Don't worry, I wet my hands. Don't worry. Get the hook out of the seat. There we go. Always wet your hands when you're uh, dealing with crocs. If you're in some group. Skin. So, scales, I guess? I don't know. Is it skin or scales? I have no idea. That was a decent one. Probably a little above average for this lake. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He might be a big one. He might be a big one. He's fighting so hard, guys. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh, did he get off? Oh no, he's on. He's on. He's a decent one. He's a decent one, guys. Let's get him off. Yeah, he's a honker. He's a baby honker. One day he'll be a 20 incher. Unless somebody catches him before that. Hey, guys. Another round. There he goes. Hey, uh, I almost stepped on him. There he is. The eagle just jumped out the tree. The other one pushed it out. I didn't have my camera on. Alright. Just miss it. That's what happens. Maybe he spit it right as I. There he is. He doesn't feel big. Actually, he feels tiny. Yeah, he's freaking. Not in the weeds, dude. Yeah, this dude's tiny. This dude's just tiny, bro. What the heck? My hands are so wet, don't worry. My hands are so wet from the last fish, so. Dude! I'm gonna help you, don't worry. Alright. I'm going to help you. Another little rainbow. There's lion locks in here too. I don't know how many there is. So. Right, I wasn't recording, but once again, I lost a monster. Let's see if he'll take it again. I doubt it. They usually don't. The big ones usually don't after you. Uh, if after you try it, like if you hook them. And they fall off, they don't eat it again. The littler ones will the little the littler ones will because they're stupid. The big ones won't because they're smart. Er. Actually I don't know how smart trying to They seem to be pretty smart because see you have to use a small line and stuff like that. I got eight pounds braid, pretty sure. That's like two pound mono diameter. No! I wasn't recording! I wasn't even recording, I just caught this monster! Look at this, dude. Right. Set him right there so he can breathe. Look at this, look at this. Look at this monster. Oh no, oh no.
Alright guys, we got him. Sorry you missed the hook set, but like Sam's about to die. I'm gonna make it last as long as possible. Um, he doesn't feel very big. But, I mean, fish is a fish. Can't complain. Yeah, he ain't big at all. My hands are wet. This is the last fish. The last fishy fishy that I caught like three minutes ago, probably. Alright, let me show. Okay. Oh, there he goes. Alright guys, if you enjoyed that video, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And um, if you made it this far, first of all, thanks for watching the whole video. I appreciate it a lot. Um, and there's a bobber right there. Uh, anyways. If you made it this far, right, um, right, Cottonwood is the dumbest thing in the world, uh, in the comments. And, thanks for watching.